things just aren't getting any easier in the old duffel department. And since I've been going down this rabbit hole and specifically the duffel world, it's just not getting any simpler. And today we've got the Peak Design duffel. The Peak Design duffel has been around for a while, but Huckberry just came out with this coyote color. So a collaboration between Huckberry and Peak Design generated a range of coyote items. I did a review of that. I'll put a link up here to that video, which was mostly a backpack, 30 liter, which I did like, but the straps on almost all the Peak Design bags just don't seem to work. They also did a tech pouch and some other items. They've expanded that to some duffels. This, the 35, also a 65 liter massive bag and a couple other things. Again, link in the description to the Coyote Collection from Huckberry. You're gonna to wanna to go check it out because they're available. Some of those items were out of stock, now they've been restocked, so definitely go check it out. But today we're gonna to talk about the duffel, just the 35. In fact, it's, this one is really all about two great 35 liter bags. We're gonna go head to head between the Evergoods TD35 and the Peak Design 35 liter travel duffel. Let's get to it. All right, so like I've said, things didn't get any easier in the travel duffel department. We've got some another great addition, the Peak Design. You know I'm a big fan of the sort of top opening 1733. This one's also from Huckberry. See a little difference in the coloration here, both in Coyote. This one's a great one, 1733. Do a link, link in the description of this one, and I also did a review of that. And you know I'm a big fan of the Go Ruck kit bag. This one has the new front pocket. Also did a review on that one. But today, we're going 35 liter head to head between these two bags. And again, great options. Uh, you're gonna wanna check out the review of this one, but the uh, big picture and really right off the top, what's the main difference? I'll talk about volume comparisons. I'll talk about the dimensions of each, but the big difference here is you get a dedicated laptop sleeve in this one. You don't get that in the Peak Design. There are a ton of other features in this that I really do like. It's not gonna be a backpack sort of uh, solution with this one. You don't expect that, it's a duffel. There is a backpack option with this if you went single bag over here with the Peak Design. But anyway, we'll talk about volume in a second. But really what I wanted to get to is the Peak Design because this one in particular, in this coyote color is just fantastic. I do love the coyote color. If you wanted to compare this with a Goruck Kaiden, the ones that came in the Coyote, you would be, this would be awesome. This was a VX21 material, mostly throughout, and it just does, uh, it just looks awesome in this color. There is a volume discrepancy that I'll get to when I compare this to the TD35, but I just like the way this one's laid out, mostly because, again, I just like to be able to access things. The kit bag is just simple. This one's way more complex but we have two pockets, one on either side, sort of like the TD35, but they're not big enough for a laptop. So that's just think about that. Now they're both sort of identical, some slight differences, but that's really, you get these almost four, there's actually four, because each side has a big pocket and then a little front pocket that is very useful for, you know, cell phone, that kind of stuff. No organization in this outer pocket. It sort of all bellows out uh, as you stuff things out in the inside. And then this other pocket has aqua guard zippers, which is super cool. And, the ability to do some organization. Now inside here, and again, it's kind of stuffed inside, so you'll lose some ability depending on how it's packed out. But there is these nice little rubberized admin divided pockets. And then you have another ID pocket, which is sort of hidden, but you can put, you know, some sort of identification. They actually include a peak design card. You can put your name, phone, and email on there and slip it in here so you have a way to identify it, or somebody does if they found it. Nice little loop in here. You could uh, put a carabiner, put your keys, attach something in there so you're not gonna lose it. There's no attached strap on this one. And that's about it. The other side is almost identical. I say almost because it lacks that ID pocket. 
but you still get some admin. Now I also have, this is big enough for the Evergoods Cap 1, it's the Phoenix edition, and that's, uh, but you also get the admin that you get on the other side. So you can not do that, just detonate all these things, put them in here, uh, but you don't get any front organization on this like you do on the other side. You do get the same identical pocket, which is nice. So you really have four external pockets on the sides, not deep enough for a laptop, uh, really, or even the mini, maybe a Kindle. Kindle would fit in there, but that's about it. Another cool feature about this, and when I was looking around the inside, I said, Man, what are these little toggles for? Uh, well, the, what they're for is you can lock these external pockets, just the bigger external ones, by slipping this pocket through a hole. It's here. I can't find it now. It's right in this upper kind of corner. It goes on the inside, and then you can toggle this from the inside. So what you do is you would put this through the hole, grab it from the inside, and then pull this thing tight. And now you're really locked down on the outside. Same sort of features here. You can do some a little theft deterrent option with these. So you can kind of do a little, uh, some little wizardry with these things and then just make it a little anti-theft. You know, if they want to get in this thing, they're gonna get into it with a knife, but you could just make it harder for the pickpockets as you're getting, maybe leaving the airport onto the train, heading downtown, whatever it happens to be, but I just like that option. Now, big number 10, AquaGuard zip on the outside. The rest of them are, I guess that's a, I guess that's a 10. It looks like maybe an eight on the pockets, 10 on the main. But in either way, good options. Now there's a padded shoulder strap. When I go ahead to the T35, spoiler alert, this one's a little more padded. But it's not beefy like the GORUCK one. Now it is a little more grippy, so maybe it won't slide off your shoulders. But again, it is Coyote, nice little peak design accents everywhere, adjustable, and it hooks on these little hooks that are right opposite the zipper. Now the shoulder straps, both this one and these handles are all movable around this whole thing. So stick with me, it gets a little complicated. But if you see on the end here, there's one, two, three, four, five attachment points just on the end. Each end, so there's 10 and then four more. So there's 14 different ways not 14 different ways, seven different ways you can attach things. Maybe, I'm not gonna do the math, but you can, if you wanted to do more sling mode, you can put these on one side and then have most of the bag hanging off of you. You could do cross body on this one. So there's some things here. Now you can also, if you wanted to go shoulder strap mode for a short distance, you might remove one of these from the ends, which are pretty, jammed in there and tough to remove so they're definitely secure you're not going to lose them on the road but you could take one of these and attach it to one of the top ones and now it's going to be more comfortable in backpack mode again not really what this is intended for but if you needed to just because you had a couple different bags you could do it with this one tons of flexibility with how you use this so that's the padded shoulder strap adjustable strap keepers very cool, like the way that's designed and it's very comfortable. Now these handles are also nice because there's this rigid piece built in there that has a magnets. So they should, not very strong magnets, but they are, they are magnetic. So when you're carrying on the road, you drop it, they should stay close together. So they're easy to grab, just grab and go on the road. So that's pretty cool, right? I mean, I think this is nice. The overall shape of this is a little different where the TD35 is just very geometrically square, rectangular in places. This one's a little different. One little feature I didn't um, I'll mention here about the side little, uh, little wings, if you will, when you're not using them. So say you disconnected this and you're just gonna lug this thing around with these handles. There's magnets that will keep these wings down. So that's just a nice little touch that I really do like. There you go. When it's in the overhead, two additional pockets on the bottom to grab this thing out of the overhead, put it back on your shoulder, and get on your merry way. So I like this. Like it, like it, like it, like it, like it. Great accessory bag if you got a Kaiden. Could be single bag. Uh, you'd have to put your laptop in a sleeve on the inside if that's the way you wanted to travel. All right, let's see what we got inside. Two rods in here. Not really rods. This one's more of a piece of 
flexible plastic and there's a bigger rod in there that kind of helped us keep its shape pretty much right about midline right here. Two little rods to kind of give you some rigidity when you're looking at this thing so it stays open. You can kind of see what's going on in here. There's two internal pockets we'll talk about in a second, but what do I have? In this one, I fit two mediums, two smalls, so you could do a third medium, but the, the smalls just were able to kind of wedge them in different places, so I did like that. And then I've got in here also the GORUCK 10 liter, full. So zipped in half, which is nice. So, if you watched the previous video, what don't I have in here? So from the TD35, I also had an eight liter in the TD35, which I could not fit in here. And you saw it as it was, it was kind of packed out. So there you go. Just the dimensions of this are a little different. In my opinion, it fits a little smaller than 35. The TD35 is probably a true 35, but who knows? Um, again, I'll directly compare those in a little bit. Nice little Coyote logo here on the inside, which I do like. And again, rods in here to help this thing keep its shape. And I do like that. Now, uh, there is on the inside here, both inside front areas have, there's some places to attach things and there's two sort of weird shaped little wedge um, breathable pockets. One on the front, one on the back. What are these little attachments for? Well, if you get the camera cubes from Peak Design, you can kind of clip things in there. Can I keep this thing more of a camera bag than an actual just duffel? But for me, it's gonna be a travel duffel. Now also, like I said, two pockets, one on either front and back, nothing on the ends. You feel those magnets in there. And then down inside, which will again, be tough to show you, but here's the toggle. So here's the toggle. And what I was saying earlier, we take this pocket, unzip it a little bit, then we feed this thing inside. So I can pull it tight. Probably some from the outside, some from the inside. Then this little, this is the zipper pull from the inside. It goes on here. And now it's secured. There's no way for you from the outside to unzip this thing locked so that's nice nice little feature level of detail that you just don't really see in a lot of places so I like that I like that ability to lock this thing down if I wanted to if I was going somewhere far and I wasn't gonna access that stuff it still allows me to access this outer pocket so you can put you know your phone airpods reading glasses sunglasses on the very outside and then keep maybe your charging cash passport maybe some other stuff on the inside just kind of locked down so that's pretty nice like that feature super cool that's it um it does open up all the way and it's completely empty so these rods kind of help you load things see what you have in there now it's different than the 1733 again the 1733 has this horseshoe size clamshell sort of opening opens up you can kind of look at it all the time without having to worry about you know wrestling with the bag lacks some other organization that this might have, but really, to be honest, they're pretty similar in features uh, and in just different build qualities, but different uh, form factors for sure. Now we've got this light gray on the inside, exactly like we have in the TD35. So you're not gonna lose stuff in the nitty gritty corners. You're gonna be able to see that stuff that's in there because of that contrasting color. So I just like the build, I like the feel of this thing, man. Um, you know, where the TD35 might, not be as aesthetically pleasing because of its boxiness. This one's just a little less of that. It just gives you a ton of options. It's also in a great color. So if you're trying to match things with your Coyote setup, especially if you got a Kaiden, then this would be a great little sidekick for that Kaiden that you got. It's nice, it's cool. All right, let's kind of clean some of this stuff up and go head to head with the TD35. All right, so yeah, TD35. <laughs> All right, so yeah, TD35 over here, Peak Design 35 liter on this side. And again, we'll put, let's talk dimensions. So boom, dimensions. As you can see here, uh, there's just a, an inch or two here that separates the two size-wise. So this, if you're really specific about where this thing is gonna fit, then you might choose the bag based off of that. 
Otherwise, I really don't see the difference in the dimensions, except that they both say 35 liters. But when I go pack out head to head, I'm able to fit all of this stuff, which means the, the Go Ruck, the Evergoods, and then two mediums, two smalls in the TD35. There's no way I was gonna fit all of that in the Peak Design, They're both 35 liters. And again, the difference, if you ask me, was down to eight liters. That's this is the one thing. The Evergoods was the one that didn't make it into this one. And of course, you could trade off which one you put in there. But bottom line, I wasn't able to put all of this stuff in here. Now I think because of the pockets, that's where they kind of increase the volume of this thing with the individual pocket sizes because they're jamming stuff and all those pieces of parts. And yes, you could detonate this thing and jam those things in there and probably get very close. Now with this setup again two mediums two smalls one of these big packing cubes you're pretty much at capacity in this thing and it limits the utility of the side pockets specifically in the td35 but really also also specifically in the td35 also in the peak design travel 35 liters because everything's just poof, maxed out inside and it just limits the utility of those pockets so really as a sidekick bag probably going to be my dump pouch for shoes a couple packing cubes all the stuff i just don't care about because that's the, it's going in the overhead and then what's going to be in front of me is a backpack of some sort now that doesn't mean you can't go single bag in this one single bag travel you totally can it's just, and it's got a lot of features but you're not going to be able to have a dedicated laptop sleeve like you see over here you're just going to have to put it in something i've got a triple lot design one or uh, nigelo makes another one just some another sleeve for your laptop before you put it in there if that's what you're going to do single bag with that thing with all your tech and everything else and this is a nice size it'll fit underneath the overhead i think because it's a little bit shallower than this td35 so there you go so i've already packed that out before with all this you've seen that in the previous video and just kind of putting it all back together again the go ruck fits in there it's nice and big and sizable and i've got the mediums just boom on the top the bottom and then really because this thing's a little bit wider that's where i was able to kind of jam these these smalls sort of in there to make this thing fit perfectly don't worry just hoodies so there you go a little bit more room in there maybe you can take this thing apart jam it sort of in the corners but then again like i said you're going to be limiting the utility of these side pockets and really that's the big difference maker if you ask me is just tons of organization added to this side to side again no laptop ability but it is super cool like this one if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel not every video is about duffels although i've done a lot of duffel videos recently but i got more stuff coming out that is going to be super fun to watch i think but you know i'm a little biased so we'll see you in the next video enjoy the outside and yeah go get outside see ya all right so like i said in the intro All right, so uh, 